OBS Studio is a great screen recorder and live streaming program. I did a couple of videos of how to use OBS and there are links in the description below. But there's something about OBS that bugs me. It does not have a way of highlighting the cursor. Well, I found a method of highlighting the cursor and I want to share it with you. Let's take a look of how to highlight the cursor when using OBS or using any screen recorder. Hi, Dennis Ray here. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. I'll wait while you do that. Okay, I see you're done. Good. Let's carry on then. You want to make a tutorial video? and you want the cursor to show up really well so you can draw attention to what you want your audience to see. This is the process of adding a cursor highlighter. The first thing we want to do is go to this site and uh, I'll put a link for this site in the description below. And then scroll down to two cursor highlighter. And here we want to hit this link. This will take us to this site. And at this site we want to download a program that we can install. So you hit download, download current version. And this doesn't take long at all. So then when that's done, go back to the first site and then download this add-on download okay that doesn't take long at all either and once we have those two the program and the add-on we can go ahead install the program and start the add-on let's go to the downloads folder Double click on that and then we want to install the auto hotkey so double click on that. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Yes. Express installation. Okay. View changes, new features. Uh, no, not right now. <clears throat> and then Double click on cursor highlighter add-on. It will be in the same folder. That Do you want to create a new file with default settings? Yes. Okay. Now we have our highlighter. Great. The cursor highlighter icon and the settings icon can be moved to a folder of your choice. Like I put the icons that I have into a folder along with my screen recorders which makes it very handy and here you just double click on the highlighter icon and that starts the highlighter and then there's a icon that will appear in your taskbar uh, for the highlighter and if you click on that it will turn it off and on and if you right click you have these selections. You can exit the cursor highlighter. There's a uh, path to settings. You can switch the cursor to a picture cursor, like a pen icon, or switch to cursor focus. And let me show you what those two do. First of all, to switch to a picture cursor, you click that. And then you can use this if you want to show something better than just the highlighter or if you're doing writing on a screen. And you can switch it back again. And switch to cursor focus. If you hit that, then you have this spotlight where you can focus on one thing on your screen. You can switch back. Let's take a look at the settings. 
right click on that settings in the general tab there is color highlight and that's what we have right now picture file that would be that uh, pencil icon focus that would be the spotlight and then some other settings that you can take a look at there highlight settings this is where you can change the size of the highlight now default is 100 I made mine half that size but you can change it back and then you have this oval effect if you don't change them to be the same number it's interesting but I like mine at 50 and then there's a to make it opaque and I have it at about halfway to 125 you can change this to make it more solid solid color so you can't really see through it or invisible that let's go back to 125 I think that's a good setting and with this you can change the color of the highlight you don't have to have yellow you can choose any one of these colors highlight left click and this would be where you can uh, look at these settings you can hide it you can have it do nothing change the size of it and again make it more opaque or less opaque change the color right now it's red Okay. and then right click highlight and uh, if you right click you got this color you can change the color there same settings change in the size opaque settings picture settings this will be for that uh, uh, icon the pencil icon you can change the settings for that when that's selected focus settings same thing, settings for that. And then hotkeys, where you can select if you want to turn the highlighter off or on with a hotkey. You can make your hotkeys there. Save or delete. Switch to highlight. Switch to picture. Switch to the focus. Yeah. And then uh, let's see, is there anything else I wanted to show you on this? And then exit cursor highlighter. You know, I believe that's all I needed to show you for this. Now you're ready to use the highlighter when you use OBS or any other screen recorder that uh, you want to use this highlighter instead of the highlighter that comes with that screen recorder or if the screen recorder doesn't have a highlighter. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See ya!